one time. Here at California Love. At a Zimmerman Automotive Museum. Badass diamond tank, painted spokes to match. These are OG Warrens. The wheels are OG Warrens for those that don't know. Twisted sissy bars, badass. There's some OG parts, mentioned some new school parts. So it's cool to see. Take a look at this real quick. This is a, they used to call this thing gray frame from Bajitas. Uh, they would, it was the way you ordered it, they had all the other parts. You used to be able to get the uh, forks, the handlebars, the sissy bar. Newer style frame, straight forward, some loose full parts. Loose full frame, some loose full parts. Full pedal bar. OG builds with twisted parts. This is an OG Manny fork right there. The double top strut bar. Uh, you see on the crown, you have, well, not on the crown, the actual back feet. It's double twisted. Twisted springs. It's a pin on it so you can drop it. Um, yeah, a lot of little cool pieces on this one. It's like a true diamond thing. It's funky. The leaf ends with the cages. Cages even on the, on the chain guard. Damn, this is a old school by Heath. Or this is the FNR, uh, one of their frames. This was their marble, they call it laser paint. New school style uh, scooter. Good times worldwide. The trike. Trike. This is funky because I've only I remember only seeing those um, the bent forks like that coming from Japan. Uh, so that's kind of funky to see one in person. It's a, it's a play on the old school uh, the OG bent forks. Pedal car. Pedal car. Badass stretch right here. New school style frame. New school style twisted. They have like a something on the end of the bolt though. That's cool. Wheels are badass. Body mod on this engraving. That's cool to see. This one's funky because uh, I remember looking at it a long time ago. I never really realized uh, like the little beads. And then uh, this is just a chrome frame, and they kind of have panels. You can see where the bolt is on that. So even though that this looks like a mild custom, it's actually just a street bike with uh, body panels bolted on it. Wheels. Cool. OG build. I think he said that's a 68. It's an OG build here. This is one of the first bikes from Sweet Colors. If not, it is the first bike from Sweet Colors. So, OG build from 93. And that's what kind of kicked off Sweet Colors, Lowrider Bike Club, heavily based out here in Los Angeles. Some 26s, 16 inch, 16 inch, Santana. It's actually one of the first bikes that had hydraulics on it. 
look at this do a deep dive so you have the uh the speedometer in the tank you have the hydraulic cylinder here uh i believe that this may have been from reds it's been approved right there sweet um and then you got these big ass bulky cylinders in the back because it's kind of like a play on the mini trucks that have the dancing beds um honestly to my knowledge this is one of the only bikes that ever did this but it was also the first bike to kind of be cut from my understanding so could be wrong i know that there's a little bit of debate about that but i think that that's what they say so i say that as well i'm just regurgitating what i've been told many times so this is the article out of the Lola bicycle magazine you may have saw that on my channel girls frame another girls frame and stripe in Got my good side? I got no good side. So, what do you want? What do you want? Right here, you want to put the on the back. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I put the Cadillacs in the back. Where'd you get on that? I got them in Italy. I got them in Italy. Just painted by Angel. His bike's over there. We're gonna take a look at it in a second. But this was just painted by Angel. Uh, I just right there. So, clean up these out good. All swing parts. On the table.
badass build from back in the day. It's all OG twist. You can see the difference. This is solid metal. Um, this is an OG Warren wheel. Uh, the lace is just a four. And then you also have the chrome and the gold on each side. Square twisted. Uh, double square twisted there, double square twisted. Even with the square twisted bracing. The cranks twisted. Lucky seven. Uh, it's weird because it's a double skip too, so it's one gone and then you got two actual teeth on that. Sweet colors in the main. Um, she went approved. But all over the build. That's real low rider, man. Better. Another sweet colored bike. The way they used to get this bent fork is they would take a crate, which is, they used to have a little bit of a longer fork, it was a 24 inch, and then they would bend it a little bit to get this kind of rake on it. You can see the bar, it's square twisted, look how it looks on the side. Oh, it's just beautiful. The handlebars are square stock, and it's just not twisted at all, it's just square stock. Uh, this is twisted as well, uh, very, very well done. The fender braces, they're square stock, even though the way that it looks, that's how it typically would look on some fenders, you know, some fenders have that bevel to them, because instead of leaving it flat, it, it creates a little bit of rigidity, but these are actually square stock, square on both sides, so, uh, all OG swing parts with some custom, so, it's badass, man, check out the pedals, you can see everything on the, the paintwork, and this is, oh shit, you even put the cute speaker sticker there, I didn't even see that, that's what's up, man. Sweet colors, man. We'll start over here. It's, this is hard. Don't cheat. But it's, it's street, right? This is street. There's no body mods. But but he had a new rule book. What's the rule book say? The rule book is body mods. Everything's based on body mods. This would be a this would be a street. But it, it don't matter because the candy paint and custom parts. No, it doesn't matter. It's body mods. Everything's based on body. It's the same thing as Chris. It's the same thing as Chris. That's correct. But, I mean, if Chris wanted to do it, it'd be in the same class. But everything's based on body mods, right? You going up based off body mods or no? For for what class it's in? Yeah. It's body mods. So this yeah. will be a street, right? Yes. See? <laughs> it's street. Bro, it's, there's rules to this. Yes. We studied these fucking rules too long. Yes. So... Yeah, it is a street. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter how many parts. Remember, tradition. When everything's said and done, you get points for having original street parts. Yeah. You get extra points. Correct. So that's where it hurts him in that. Even though it's engraved, Schwinn was because you were gonna re-chrome and do all that stuff. So Schwinn parts were brain supreme. So. Because if you look at it, how much of this bike is actually Schwinn? Really look at it. The only thing that is Schwinn is the clamp, the cuffs, maybe the chain guard I think is. Chain guard. Yeah, chain guard looks. The speedometer. Yeah, speedometer. Speedo. I don't know if the headlight is. Yeah, the headlight is. Schwinn? It's a union? Uh, yeah. See? <laughs> <laughs> But the engraving is also points where if that hat doesn't have engraving is its own separate points too. So it's all about playing the points and stuff. So and because it's basically all the rules apply to every single bike the same. It's evenly distributed, but then it comes down to based on body mods. So he has he has a lot of accessories. Yeah, yeah, and a lot of them are Schwinn OG accessories. So get some on accessories and yeah and then you get upholstery uh the only real upholstery is the display kind of so because the other one has a fabric seat i believe or no he has a vinyl the og uh OG. the seven so and og i think range supreme right <laughs> right Tequila Sunrise. So some Tequila Sunrise. Only Mike, Finest Creation. Bunch of the articles that were featured in. You know. 
Lucky Seven. We are these aren't Lucky Seven. These are fans. <laughs> I don't know why I said Lucky Seven. Fan wheels. Find the street. She's on the back. Then his brother Lewis. So, random story. Elite uh, car club used to have bikes, and this was a elite bike, and this actually used to be an elite bike as well. And then now they are finest creations, because um, the elite bike club kind of just went wayside. So um, this was painted, I think, 2018. So you see the headline? No other bicycle. So the twisted parts on here are badass. Painted seats, badass. Long board to match. So the Vegas bike. This is based on the Joe Ray car, and then the Joe Ray car is actually the inspiration for Casino Dreaming. So it kind of it's interesting to see it go full circle, you know. Uh, these are newer style fan wheels. So the bike over there that has fans, the 72s, um, and then these have. Some OG Warren. These are, they almost look like Twisted Fantasies, but they're not Twisted Fantasies. They're something else. Uh, no, the, I think, no, those are not Twisted Fantasies. Um, and then these came out, um, I want to say like 05. So, um, but we got the Las Vegas, the Pro Hopper cylinders, or those could be um, Hop Shop cylinders too. So, but. I always like this bike. The build was always. I like the colors that were done on it. You heard that from Mark? No, it was art. Some OG, kind of worn. These are newer style worns. Um, yeah, so. You know how to take your steel, you know? Heavy paint flake from design, OG swing sprocket, some solid twisted uh, parts here, mixed with flat twisted. The handlebars are really badass. OG Schwinn uh, handlebars with a twist in them. They really complement because even the bend on the sissy bar here is the top part is actually rounded out. Uh, it's just very tastefully done. And you got Noah's Ark here, brush on the seat pad. So I learned something new about this bike today. This bike has a triple seven Pesco right there. So you have the number fours, uh, they're number four nineties. You have the tank. Um, is that a filter on it? He has a filter. There's a check valve. Uh, it's actually lights up in the back. Chrome and engraving, I really like, it, you can't really top this. I mean, look at these wheels. I prefer lowriders to have spokes, but if you get to this caliper, I mean, bro, look at it. Uh, that actually is a very good portrayal of his daughter, his daughter, spinning image. Uh, badass bike build. So look at the sprocket, it's like a sawtooth. The twist on the side of the pedals, the action pack. I mean, this is just, this radical. The only thing, you guys might say some shit, whatever. The only thing is the China Sissy Bar. The only thing that's different, I think he had to re-chrome it. He cut it here and he had to relocate it down, uh, down a little bit more. Uh, that's the only thing that's China on this bike. Look at this, look at this strike kit. I can't tell if that's a double or triple twisted chain. I was the first person to do a triple twisted chain because uh, I was building my bike. A casino Dreaming, I was the first class to have a uh, single twisted chain. So, but badass hydraulics. You got all this, all these little pieces here have twist on them. These dangling down, sweet. Check out the mirrors, they have screens in them. So, Badass build for good times. Definitely showing out another rider bike scene. So everything custom except for one part. Now you know that part. Can't touch it though, man. I mean, it's a badass build. This bike's going a bit fast, 
But, I mean, look at that OG style. Sissy bar, beautifully done. Man, everything's been replated. You can see the wheels. That's not the China Chrome. Uh, it looks like a water twist. There, I don't know if those are D-twist uh, fender bases. I'm just gonna call it water twist right now. Engraving all on uh, the boot snack. I'm sorry, not the boot snack, the T-bone. Whatever you wanna call it. It looks like that has a water twist in that as well. So, twin parts. The steering wheel looks badass. So, it's kind of cool right here. Nice OG. Look at the twist right there. Engraving. Engraving on the, the fender braces. Still have invite. Now this is the homie from Guam. So this is an OG as fuck build, right? You have the OG Warren wheels, 144s. Uh, the difference between these wheels and China ones, if you look at it, you could actually see they're not 100% flush. If you look at the 144s that are China's, they're always gonna be flush. You see how one spoke goes back and one forward, one back, one forward. That's a real way you could tell worn wheels from China's. Um, but back to the story on this bike. The homie's from Guam, the Islanders Bike Club, you know. He brought the bike from Guam, not once, not twice. This might be his third or fourth time bringing the bike that I've seen it here in California. Um, Guam is a territory or a colony of the United States and it's closer to Japan than America to say the least so for the homie to come out here and represent California it's definitely a big deal and it's always good to see so I mean it's a beautiful done bike everything's everything's gone over everything's chrome you see the, the finish on everything's really really well done uh, the OG Schwinn uh, reflector on the back like when you think of traditional lowrider bikes, this is it right here. This is like iconic, like this is it, you know? So it's a badass build. Schwinn light. Bro, you can't you can't really say anything about it. So the joke is right, it's a 75. Take a look at it, some airbrush work. The pumpkin uh, Schwinn headlight somewhat of a big deal but that SOG build and then over here you know, we got the homie Chris from Legions uh, this is a 16 inch where is this inch? yeah 16 inch uh, double headlights you can see the chrome trim around engraving custom supports custom fender braces Custom high rise uh, sissy bar, leaving bike club. OG turn signal painted and engraved. Uh, the pedals are custom square twist. So everything on this bike is either OG Schwinn or custom made. There's no aftermarket China parts. You know when you go online and you hop on eBay and you see 100 handlebars look exactly the same. That's not the case with this. This is a very good example of what a lowrider bike should be. This is actually a newer build as far as like within like the last 10 years, I believe. Um, so, look at that. Forgettable Dreams, Lisa's Bike Club, Custom Parks, Manny's Bike Shop. They have, like, you know, even those little details that, that's cool to see. The airbrushing is phenomenal. The color choices are very well laid out. The, the Schwinn on the back, the butterfly nuts. Bro, there's nothing, there's nothing to say about this. So, I think it was 2017, we had our show and I had a judge. Um, I was judging some bikes and I had to judge these strollers. Bro, this dude told me that there's like 24 body modifications. Bro, I don't see these that much. He said there's 24 different body modifications on this. Obviously, you have the square twist, all accessorized. Um, the dish right here is chrome, gold, engraved. Um, you have some upholstery points right there. This whole handlebar for the accessory is chrome, gold, and engraved. Uh, he is a painter, so I'm glad to see the paintwork. It's phenomenal, these are my club, so definitely a badass build.
He's the one who painted the blue bike over there. So, I mean, this bike has had many iterations, and this is probably my favorite iteration of it. Um, I mean, first off, let's start off with the display. Many people have thought that this was sand throughout the day. I like the way it's kind of displayed right now. The color options of the actual frame, very well done. You have your yellows with some blues, some pinks, uh, some oranges almost in there. It's all very well done. You have your pumpkin light with your two accessory lights right there. And it's on a custom mount bracket. You have your uh, T-bone square twisted. Everything's chrome, golden, engraved. Uh, lucky set or not? I keep saying these are fucking lucky sevens. These are fan wheels. But if you look on the spokes, one is a square twist and the other one is a spoke. But the spoke has a fade on it, so it goes from pink in the middle and then it goes to like an orange. I'm sorry, from a pink to like a orange to yellow, and then there's another one that goes from blue to orange to yellow. So you can see it on this right there I guess they're all pink to blue to uh, a yellow so check out the sprocket the butterfly sprocket check out the pedals leading bike club LEDs in the back leading bike club I think that's actually from uh, Lady of Death out of Texas well yeah and then this is possessed this is one of the OG bikes. This came out in 97, the Rider Magazine. So when this came out, it was a big deal. Check out the square twist, the stippling engraving. Again, you can see that these are worn wheels. Obviously, I mean, there really wasn't China's back then. Um, this is a birdcage, square twisted. You see that there's no uh, weld marks. Everything is very flush, well done. And that's how a lowrider bike should be built. Um, look at, I mean, everything on this bike is like spectacular twin parts the steering wheel is twisted but it also has uh, a round stock that's kind of twisted amongst itself these are incorporated because you know it's possessed you have the kind of blade and then you got uh, some stippling engraving on that uh, for this bike to come out 97 but it still holds its weight all day uh, very well done very happy to see bikes from this era still in good condition you know and that's kind of what we're doing here at the event so that's pretty much it all you know california love lowrider show you've seen it all this is all the bikes all the models if you weren't here man hopefully you appreciate this sweet colors in the house one of the old schools uh santana's here finest creations here legions is here i mean this is low riding so thanks for checking out the video and uh yeah man